Okay, welcome back. I got that star. And now there's one more I have to get. Oh, the red coins. Um, so I was talking about... Yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, nobody's watching anyway. If you are watching, um, you're not watching live. You're in the future, I guess. <laughs> um, so, like, you can just watch the next episode if you're really that interested, which you probably aren't. Um, so, I'll, I'll just, I want to stop at 20 minutes. I think it's, even if I'm in the middle of a topic. Um... Talking about in sixth, sixth grade when I um, the only time I remember really crying in class um, I don't know if it's interesting it's probably not um, but I remember it and it was like 15 years ago it's still stuck in my brain um, we had this project, this cool project. Um, we had to like reproduce a comic strip. So you would, what you would do? Oh, you're not really supposed to be up here. You're supposed to be down there. Whoops. Okay. Um. Ah, I need to go back up. So what you would do is you would take a comic strip and you would kind of grid it off so you would draw like five lines across and five lines down and then you um, you would have to reproduce like a, a the same comic like ten times bigger on like a poster board or something and so you would do the same thing on the poster board you would grid it off five by five and it would help you to like to copy it because you could break it down into like pieces that you were drawing it was actually really fun to do I remember um, because you felt like you were you were like hacking the system or something you, you felt like a really good drawer but you knew you weren't I mean I knew I, I was I was a terrible drawer but like you drew something on your own without like tracing it or and it actually looked really good so it was really cool um, <clears throat> but for some reason I did the project wrong um, I think what I did was it was supposed to be done in colored pencils something stupid like this like and I did it in um, a permanent marker or something and I got a C on the project, and I was just, I, yeah. I just remember sitting in my desk and I just started crying. Um, and I never, I didn't want to, because it's like it's it's so embarrassing to cry, especially if you're like you're a guy, and like so you're trying to stop, but then. Once you start, it's hard. Um, and then, like, you're crying, so then you're embarrassed, and then, like, you're embarrassed that you're crying, so that's, like, another thing, like, yeah. And my face gets all red when I get embarrassed. Um, I think this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to just go up there. How do I get off? There we go. Um, so the teacher saw me, and she was a good teacher, so she's like, um, I remember her like, kind of being like, 
she she was almost like upset with me that I was crying. She's like, because I was like, um, she felt bad that I was crying. And I was like a kid, and I was, <laughs> and she's like, come on, you 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 read the directions, didn't you? I said I said no permanent markers, so I have to give you a C. Like, this is my fault. Stop making me feel bad. Oh, whoops. I'm not a monster. <laughs> You're making me feel like a monster for making a kid cry. That's that's how I remember her response. <laughs> um, and she was like, "Yeah, uh, maybe you should just like go to the bathroom." And I actually remember before that. Another kid came up to me and was like actually being like nice and he was like um, Hey, are, are you all right? And then that made it worse because <laughs> it's like yeah. It's somebody like acknowledging I think that's why it's like somebody acknowledging that they see you crying So it makes it even worse and I was kind of like I don't remember what I said back to him, but I was probably rude because I didn't want him to like I wanted him to go away <laughs> I didn't want him to look at me But he was being super nice Can he get back in his shell? That's never happened before um, So I went to the bathroom and the bell rang and I was kind of nervous like oh I have to go back to my next class um, but my eyes were still all red so I went back to the next class and um, yeah I was a little nervous because I was like I have to go back to class now because if I go back later the teacher's gonna ask me where I was and then I'm gonna have to be, I mean, I'm sure if I was like, well, I was crying in the bathroom, he would have been like, oh, that's fine. But yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> um, so I had to go back even though my eyes were all red. Um, and I remember a kid noticed. And he was like, were you, are, were you crying? Why are your eyes all red? And I was like, uh, I think it's just like allergies or something. <laughs> I definitely think I, I remember saying that, which is pretty funny. That's like something you would say in a movie. Um, I think actually, like, um, that friend who I had been friends with for a long time was kind of sitting next to me too. And I kind of was like, yeah, I think it's allergies. Like, right? Like, you know, my friend, right? I have allergies, so it's probably just allergies, right? And I think he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's allergies. Um, So that was the story of me crying. Am I done with that? I guess. I don't know if it's interesting to talk about that kind of stuff. I think it probably is. Um, sometimes I hear people who are like super like cool adults. They talk about like when they're when they were kids and like something embarrassing happened. It's like endearing and it's like oh, 
I feel like the implicit thing in there is like, oh, I used to be such a dork, but now look at me, I'm super cool. Um, and that's always kind of frustrating to listen to those kind of stories. Because it's like, they're trying to be relatable, but it's like, well, okay, yeah, it's relatable that that happened to you, but you would never be weird now. You're a super normal, cool adult. Like all those, always happens on like talk shows and stuff. Um, when super famous people are like, I'm just like you. It's frustrating. <laughs> I guess the thing is like, oops, whoops, <laughs> it can kind of make me feel bad about myself because it's like, are we all supposed to just get better when we get older automatically? Um, and so it makes me kind of feel bad about myself and I forgot to put the timer on, whoops, um, felt like I just never got better. Um, I don't have too many like terrible memories of like high school I think I was like kind of a pretty self-aware smart kid like I didn't put myself in any situations where I would have to be social and have to um, like I knew I couldn't handle it <laughs> and I knew it would just never go well so I never put myself in those situations I guess like, I never like, for example, I never went to like a prom or anything. Um, it just, I didn't, I didn't have any friends. So it's like, how can I go to the prom? Like, what am I gonna do? I don't dance. Um, I'm sure if I asked somebody, they would have said yes. Like, I don't, I, I mean, um, Whoops, I thought you were supposed to jump on that guy. Um, and I think I probably could have worked myself up to asking somebody. I think? I don't know. Probably not. This guy, you're supposed to be able to jump on him, I think. Or not. So yeah, if I had gone to like a prom or like anything like that, it would have been bad. <laughs> and I would have had a bad memory about it, but I didn't, so. Okay, where's my hat? This is the one thing I've never liked about this game. It gives me so much anxiety to lose the hat. <laughs> and then you die, and then where does the hat go? I have no idea. I think the monkey wears it. Nothing ever super dramatic <laughs> happened. To me, it was just kind of like... I was never super lonely. I guess I was always just busy doing stuff. Homework or watching TV. <laughs> or whatever. Um, 
I still kind of feel that way. Oh, there he is. I want to talk to him. In video games, can't forget video games, right? Okay. Where do I go now? Hope this doesn't kill me. Okay. <laughs> about something else that happened in high school just because something similar has kind of happened in my job um, I, I, I guess I thought about it a while ago but I've been a little bit hesitant hesitant to talk about it because it's a little bit it's a little braggy <laughs> I think um, So when I was a junior in high school, the the guidance counselor, I guess, made a mistake entering my classes. So um, okay, there's the cannon. So for my math class, they put me like a year ahead of where I was supposed to be. Um, how do you get down there again? Huh, I don't remember. So they put me in a calculus class. I think it might have been like honors calculus. <laughs> um, nope. <laughs> And I guess I was supposed to be in like a pre-calculus class or something. Um, so I was really lost. I had no idea what I was doing. But I really liked being in that kind of a situation. And I'm kind of in that situation now with, at my job. Um, which is like, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's kind of okay. Like nobody really expects me to be doing I'm not really supposed to be here, like, this isn't what I'm good at. I mean, secretly, like, I'm not good at anything, but, like, I'm not supposed to be good at this. <laughs> so, um, like, I didn't feel bad about myself for, like, I don't know, in the math class, I think I failed, like, the first couple tests, and I was like, but I still felt like, I felt like I was cheating the system or something, like, I got a year ahead. Um, and I didn't have to do any work, so, um, so I didn't tell anybody, I didn't tell my parents or the guidance counselor, and I was in that class for like, probably like two or three months. I think what happened is I was just like failing every test, and the teacher maybe went to the guidance counselor and was like, um, we might have to drop Anthony down to a lower level because he's not doing very great. Um, I'm not sure what happens when you fail in high school. Um, I guess, yeah, you just drop down lower, maybe? This is, that was the only time it ever happened, so I don't know. Um, in college, when you fail, you just... Um, well, you have to get a C. I had to get a C to 
you have to pass the class to get the major that you want. Otherwise, I guess you don't get the credits and you have to retake the class. Um, I don't know how to do this one. Um, but I remember really having like a lot of fun in that class because it was like there was no expectation for me to do well. And I was like failing, but it was fun because I was learning stuff like I felt like I was learning stuff I wasn't supposed to be like And I was like becoming like a genius from just like cheating the system um, And I was kind of sad when I had to leave and I remember The last quiz um I have, I have a memory of getting like a C on, on that quiz and I was like super proud of that. And then, but it was already too late cause I was already, they already figured it out or something that I wasn't supposed to be there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I remember that class a lot actually. Um, just like learning about limits the first couple of days I was there, I was like, um, everybody was like a year older <laughs> than me. And I was like, well, well this is kind of weird. Um, I don't think everybody's supposed to be older than me because last year they weren't. Um, and then the teacher started to say like weird stuff like, um, so we're gonna talk about limits. You probably, you probably learned about these last year, but we're just gonna review it a little bit, and then we're gonna do a quiz maybe next week on the limits. And I was like, <sighs> I guess I'm kind of the person who's like, well, maybe I did learn about limits. I mean, the teacher, why would the teacher be lying? <laughs> I don't really remember limits, but like, oops. I definitely, yeah, I definitely, I definitely remember the first week being on limits and just being like, what the heck is a limit? We were just doing functions last year, x, y coordinates, and now we're doing this curvy thing? What the heck is this? Lines don't curve, they're just straight. So at my job, it's it's kind of a similar situation. I mean, it hasn't been as fun <laughs> as that, but um, so in January, the actually I was, I was talking about it next time. I forgot to put the timer on, <laughs> but I think it's been 20 minutes. Yeah, cliffhanger. Okay, see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll try and get this star. Okay, see you tomorrow.